Two lines that never intersect. Mariana Moncrief is a math teacher now, but when she started college in the United States, she was put in a remedial math course. Even though I do did understand the math, I could not pass the test because I didn't know what the questions were. Born in Slovakia, now she's teaching students from all over the world at Hoover High School in City Heights. About 30% of the student body there is learning to speak English. Another 50%, like Moncrief, speak it as a second language. Also like Moncrief, a lot of them are pretty good at math. Before I show to my students how to solve problem, for example, equation, I ask my students first to come to the board and show me how they do it in their country. And most of the time, um, what I noticed in, in other countries, um, solving equation, for example, it's exactly how I learn in Slovakia. This year, Moncrief and some of her colleagues are meeting after school each week to pore over worksheets and tests. They're dissecting the language both they and their students used in questions and answers. The goal is to find and fix the things that might land English learners in a remedial math class they don't need. For example, this one, um, it says, what does the graph show? that they did between this time. Today it's a word problem on slope. A steep line shows miles traveled by bike. Students were asked what it means when that line flattens out. Here he says, they are going same miles. Mm. So that's, you know. Yeah, <laughs> um, that's a really interesting answer, but, right? So, yeah, uh, yeah, as I said, those students cannot express themselves in English very clearly. Mm -hmm. So just like that one sentence, tells me a lot. But when he says same miles, he kind of recognized that around this time we are still at the 20 mile mark. Mm -hmm. Moncrief may understand the answer, but Bill Zahner, who's leading the effort, points out it might not be good enough on a standardized test. Going the same miles, I think what you mean is the distance is not changing, yeah. right? And so there's this idea of giving the students both the credit for coming up with this mathematical explanation and giving them the, um, the words, right, to express that in a way that, that would get them credit on another test, right? Zahner is an assistant professor at San Diego State and is researching the intersection of language and mathematics with a grant from the National Science Foundation. We think that mathematics is a universal language. That's a pretty common assumption, right? One plus one is two. It doesn't matter where you are. Uh, but as soon as you ask someone to explain or to justify or to create an argument, or to define something. Uh, now you've put a linguistic demand on that mathematics. Zahner goes back to the graph, that one with the flat line meaning the cyclist took a break. One of the questions was, you know, what happened on this graph between 11, 30, and 12? And there's a horizontal line. And a lot of the students said they stopped for lunch. And then there was explain. And the word explain, I think, was implying, or the author of the word explain thought, give me a mathematical explanation in terms of the graph that you're looking at. Uh, and a number of students wrote, well, usually you eat lunch at 1130. <laughs> and it's an example of an accurate answer, uh, but not the one that was intended. Zahner and San Diego teachers will spend the next four years finding these overlooked pitfalls. They'll discuss how to overcome them and then present their findings to educators and textbook publishers statewide. Zahner is careful to say the effort isn't about watering down the math. He says often the fix might just be a discussion in class, not a rewrite. Not uh, in 3D plane, but... Yeah. Math teacher Moncrief says talking about it with Zahner and her colleagues has already helped her tap into the talents of her English learners. My students come to class and they want to work. Um, I have not had class where my students would come and not have homework. They do homework, they ask me questions, they... Uh, it's, it's just, it's wonderful. Countywide, there are more than 100,000 English learners who, like Moncrief, just might be math teachers in the making. Megan Burks, KPBS News.